I don't want to care for no woman. One thing about being an artist, you have a platform, all right? Yeah. And in a platform, you can use that platform for anything. You can talk about women or you can talk about uh, about sex. You can talk about controversy and drugs and everything you want. Or you can choose about that platform. Uh, you can choose the platform also to, to edify and educate and not just only entertain. Mm-hmm. Because music has such a uh, it's such it has such a higher purpose than to just be used for entertainment, and it's it's such an underuse of music to just mm-hmm. put it there for only people to to you to 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 have it as background noise when you're drinking or when you're partying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when you're listening to music, you want to get something from it. You want to feel something. You want to learn something new. Mm-hmm. Now talking about the boy chat anthem, especially in this song, we talk about. Especially, uh, you know what what is trending right now. In, yeah. Even in, in my country right now, in Kenya, what I see a lot is boy child is 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 is, is at risk of everything, bro. Yeah. You find men out here uh, are, are, are under attack because they're commodified. Mm-hmm. You know, because you've been turned into this tool that generates money. Oh, okay. So your only role in society becomes money and that's why i say in that track no money no participation mm-hmm. because because yeah you know we've turned into nothing beyond that so what do we do about that what do how do we address that how do we fix this yeah. how do we do anything about it if we cannot even talk about it openly mm-hmm. because I, as once we accept it that look this is what we have become yeah how can we fix it then only then only then can we fix it and i feel like in this particular song the boy shall on them uh I'm, i'm talking about you know how so many of us are going through things that we don't dare, dare talk about mm-hmm. in our own lives in our own relationships in our own uh workplaces you know there's a lot of disrespect there's a lot of you know um uh, uh ignorance there's a lot of things that are going around and people don't even get to talk about it mm-hmm. and i feel like a lot of it revolves around money because now you you're dating but then you you broke you broke okay so what happens now Mm-hmm. what happens if you if you if you you met someone that you feel like you have a special connection with yeah. you want to be with them but then your hindrances are money is there other ways to enjoy each other's company in each other's time without necessarily making it about money money how we, are we going to be able to relate to each other as human beings if everything is transactional mm-hmm. i'm coming on condition that you send me fair mm-hmm. i'm coming on condition that uh that you shall provide this and this and this and this which are unnecessary yes everything every bit of this is very very necessary yeah. yes but what happens if it's not there yeah wow yeah wow. what happens wow. if it's not there so we need to talk about these things openly we have to we have to understand that there are times that men go through and things are not working out stand by your man's side be there for them because when things are working out they will be there for you they understand this and if men know this if you stand by your man through those times i guarantee you that man is always going to honor you and hold you in high esteem because you stood by them when they were nothing yeah. but then if you walk away from them when they are nothing guess what happens when they when they get something they trust you and get someone who they think is of higher value and higher rank than you wow such a deep so conversation the, the, there for yeah, Dili. Yeah, we we're, we're, we're turning ourselves into a very a very strange society mm-hmm. and we commodify everything and we make everything into transactions and then we we fail because now it becomes into a catch 22 where without this this does not function without this this the other does not function. So we have to talk about this stuff. Funny but, but, but on a light note did somebody eat your fare? <laughs> uh uh actually no i i've not had any any fair uh, situations actually yeah um myself i i try to very, to keep a very low profile to keep a very small circle a very very small circle the people i allow around me are very few and uh, are quality people oh, and right. I, i have no need to be around uh, people that have no need for fame i have no need for for validation i think these are some things that i really hold uh, close to my heart and they, they spare you and they, they preserve you from from a lot of the heart that is going around and then what that, that does for me it, it, it gives me or it allows me mm-hmm. to to be a spectator yeah. to watch yeah. because from these then i can say aha look but don't you think this equals to this mm-hmm. and this joined together with this is a result of this that's why the album is called the problem is yeah. because it gives a closer look and a more clean uh, a clearer look into things as they are as openly as plainly as they are what we call woman problem you say a woman problem everyone thinks you have a you're a womanizer 
uh, or you have a uh, you just uh, you had a breakup. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. If you look deeper into the song, uh, I think we talked about this in the other conversation. It's about mm-hmm. how big the role of women is in society, and how without them we are nothing. We have a problem. Yeah. So address that. So these are the things that we need to talk about. Awesome. Fadili, I know you have yes, to sir. leave because you have other engagements, but before I let you lose, let me just read quite some uh, conversations that are coming through here on our chat board. I see Godwin who says, uh, <laughs> he already mentioned it, I have a problem, I need love, I need comfort. <laughs> and goes ahead and says, the society assumes men know what they ought to do. And that's why yeah. this song, Boy Child Anthem, for him, resonates with uh, the conversation you're having. I have uh, Crystal here who says, what an amazing, amazing uh, artist there. Thank you so much, Crystal, for your message. Uh, what is your yeah. final thoughts uh, on this album? What are your expectations? Uh, well, um, I just I just hope that people will, you know, uh, resonate with it. I, I can't even say I have any expectations, but I, I just want to put it out there and, you know, just be vulnerable mm-hmm. and allow people to, to relate with it and tell me what they feel about it, how what their stories are. Mm-hmm. I want to hear people tell me how how this music uh, has, a, has um, you know, affected or um, inspired or changed a part of their lives. I want to know that stuff. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, as you listen, just get back to me. Let me know. DM me. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm easy like that. There's no one else handling my pages. Yeah. So I'll, I'll get back to you and I want to hear what people feel about it. I'm, I'm really interested in that feedback. Awesome. Awesome. That is Fadili Tuli, of course. Fadili, uh, how about a uh, signed uh, autographed uh, copy probably? Can we get one? Yes, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. It's, uh, they're, they're available, so just reach out. It's only 1,500 shillings a copy. Wow. Let me know. And it's, a very, it's, not, it's not your regular CD because yeah. it is outdated. Yeah. Live in the present. Yeah. So you get, um, I, have, I have a very uh, eco-friendly uh, way of doing albums right now. So uh, you'll get a flash disc mm-hmm. that is engraved, the artwork on the back. And yeah. then um, uh, it's stitched to a, ly- a lyric booklet yeah. that actually has all the credits it, it says who played what who mm-hmm. did who did what on the album mm-hmm. and you get to 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 you know just uh you know learn the songs and engage with the other artists and you get to see who else is on the album you know it has a lot of details so you get a booklet and it, there's a there's a flash disc to it yeah. and you have not just the problemist you have my three albums on that particular wow. Uh, wow. Uh, project i have a problem uh, are there any special people you want to say a big thank you to or probably acknowledge? Yes, I want to say a lot of thanks to, to my producer, Herman. He's been with me the whole time since February until now. Mm-hmm. You know, working, sweating hard and, you know, um, you know, just going deep into the music and making sure that we get the best pos- possible output out of these. And I'm really grateful for the brother. He's a young man. He's going places. I want to say a big shout out to all the artists who collaborated in the project. I want to say a big shout out to Taz, mm-hmm. to Fit Cube, bro, uh, to Bananas Overdose, one of the best performing tracks so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to say a, a lot of love to to all uh, Carla Moto. Yeah, to all the artists that have been on uh, featured on this track, Fancy yeah. Fingers, of course. Yeah. Uh, I also want to say a lot of love and thanks to Victor Bogo because this man has entrusted me his microphone for, you know, every project I've, re- I've recorded from the first album, I've used the same microphone. Wow. And it's not been mine. And I've done all these projects at home. Yeah. So I'm really honored to just have, you know, uh, uh, friends who, stand, who stood by me, Faisal, uh, Teto Shani, Kasiva Mutu, uh, mm-hmm. Valerie Tana, you know, uh, all this is my inner circle so i'm really grateful for all these people and um yeah uh, of course for the cover art uh, by a brother sebastian wanjala uh, wanzala one of the best photographers we have in the country so big shout out to him awesome. and you know awesome. a lot of love to everyone else who's out there listening to this music and everyone who loves my music love you right back thank you so much thank you okay fadili i'm gonna do something here you know uh, after midnight Bye. it's gonna be my birthday so i'll be taking three albums from you and whoever oh. convinces me that they deserve this we'll be posting on our social yeah. handles including mine and if yeah. they tag you and tell and convince us why they deserve it we we'll definitely get a copy for each to celebrate my birthday how about that ah sounds amazing oh, congratulations and happy birthday brother man brother man <laughs> thank you so much for i'm gonna let you lose and uh i will twitch the playlist not in order of the music but to bring the woman problem and later on we'll play the rest of the music including man which actually started off this uh show for now fadili have yourself a great evening and thank you so much for coming on set tonight 
blessings bro asante sana okay karibu sana playing the best of east africa urban music this this is blue radio difficult but not impossible Need somebody give me love now